So, welcome to day two then of week seven, season eight, Starters Order Six Online League. And today we're racing at Newmarket for the culmination of the July meeting, Newcastle, Chester, and then we'll be finishing off at Sandown for the Coral Eclipse, which is um, one of those rare occasions where real life and SO6 sync together. And it was Eclipse Weekend this weekend in real life, and it's equi Eclipse week in so6 as well so it's always really good fun when that happens so the day two gets underway then with the two-year-olds the superlative stakes sponsored by 32red.com it's a seven furlong group two and magic marvel is a top rated one for django river ganges is just rated a pound inferior to that but to be honest the ones that have run don't look as though they're um, to all that much with linksy and laquians for vinnie gerard and blue play for serious chill the only ones that have one in the last four outings but the race may well revolve around the two newcomers for thunderspark prismatic flux and um, for steve ran tuned to perfection the second group race of the day is the criterion stakes that's a bit the bet 365 criterion stakes and that is a seven furlong group three for three year olds and upwards and the unbeaten king's ghost is the top rated one in that and with the exception of king's ghost the rest of the higher rated horses don't actually look as though they've got particularly good form you go down towards the sort of middle of the card well, you've got Damage Control, Reaver Prince, Electric Boogaloo, Boju Eulis have all won or came second last time out and looked like they could be good and a lot of the trainers think they're probably more handicappers than Group 3s. This could be a wide open race. We'll probably see King's Ghost win it by a fortnight with the rest toiling in his wake. But uh, if not, then... Um, there's a few down there that could spring a bit of a surprise. The big race at Newcastle, of course, is the John Smith Northumberland Plate, which is always a hugely anticipated race, the Pittman's Derby. Disappointed looking field, I've got to say, really, with only about eight of them in there, which is a real surprise. You'd normally expect to see a good big field of about 16 or so in this. Smiley face for Steve Rann is just about the top rated. I say goodbye now for Molly at Surfers. Also got some decent form. Modern World was a winner a couple of races ago. Two miles has already won twice this season, and Pace, Ashton and Lord has also won and been second with Harry Bomber, another one that's a winner. So it might be a small field, but it looks like a pretty good one, and it could be a pretty close run thing in that one. A couple of handicaps will follow at Chester, and then we'll be over to Sandown for the Coral Eclipse, which is always a fascinating race, and we have got three in this that are all rated 120. Young Guy Zella Day for Darren Thompson, Zartak for John Morgan, and Favourite You for Django. Just £2 behind them, Crisis Talks is rated at 118, and that's also been a winner this season. Lady Jane Felsham has won twice and is rated at 116, and Sid and I for Thunderspark at 114. I mean, this could well be the race of the season so far. Going down the card, you've got Joshua Sutherland's Black Mamba, which has also won twice in there with a chance as well, and also Jack has got another one extra favourite running and Paul Rhodes you can never be counted out of these big races as well as I mean Lady Jane Felsham has next sensation and Thunderspark as we said has got um, Sid and Knight, but he's also got Netterbot that's only raced once as well so some big name trainers in there a huge field I remember seeing a field this big for an eclipse for a long long time and star material for David Robertson's only rated 81 but has won twice this season and so his horses are always there or thereabouts so that is going to be an absolutely fascinating coral eclipse and then that is your racing for day two quite a lot of handicaps and things today but the eclipse obviously takes centre stage and we'll uh, see you all next time